So hello people, this is Endeville, welcome to Rogtech. We just come from the last mission in which we test run the Hyperion. It's actually working as intended. Uh, we even got a hatchet with the thing, got three days of repairs, which actually is the very same we had on the upgrade we were doing. So we just keep pushing the upgrades because, well, we have 21 million in the bank and we very much want to get going in this. We actually, I don't think we got the pilots to drop now. Not with everything at least. But Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's only ten we got, so I guess we're dropping without one. Not ideal, but okay. Uh, here you are. So. Davian, it's not going to be about subtlety in this one. We just, oh, we got Mummy Bear, which has recovered, so that's something. We take out the Hyperion and bring the Ponchi King Crab. And I guess we try to go like this. King Wolf gets into a vehicle. I'm guessing the main problem we will have will be manning the vehicles right now. So we try it like this. We got a conquistador. We want witness on the Marauder. We want Jiangxi on the King Crab. And yeah, it looks quite bleak if you ask me. So you can go on the Vulture, which we actually aren't using here. You could go on the Warhammer. Least. But the Warhammer is paradise. So we try and find the other archer for you. Legion. I guess we'll have to bring. Yeah, because you can go on the avatar and we bring the conquistador here. That source this, we need someone to go on the Hephaestus. Oh well, that'll be you. And yeah, we actually have no pilot for the last vehicle, so the Nidhogg stays at home. We keep our cost down a bit by doing this, so uh, all decent. We bring the Ifrit because it brings <coughs> at least some some AMS. So yeah, it's just the Conquistador we're leaving home. I guess we can go in like this because you're just bringing laser AM, no, advanced AM, so yeah, we leave the Conquistador at home 
And we're going like this. I know we had parts to improve the punchy king crop, but still, this is about going in fast. We'll just do the reworks when we get out of this mission. We also got some upper recoils we might want to test elsewhere. And then we actually have two tips now, so I'm going to make a small cut in here because I'm getting a phone call, I must ask. I'll be seeing you in a second. So there we are. Everything loaded up. So we get in. This is not about being sad fool. We're just here to wreck stuff. So they're actually there, so we might try. Well, we actually, we could try it here, but we don't have to deploy. It's actually good that now you see where you're able to drop and when you are not. So I guess we're taking this one here. It's much quicker, at least. So let's get going. We should have vision from this ridge. We actually have contact, which means we're seeing someone that looks like a catapult, I think. Yep. So we just let them know first. Hopefully we'll be able to see what we're facing. That's some missiles, we're quite protected from that. So thank you very much for trying. That's a second unit going. Third one. And at this rate, yeah, we already see we have reinforcements on the table. Catapult just moved, so we're able to start moving. We want to get on top of the reach with the shoot-capable ones. You, on the other hand, we probably want to... Well, we might be able to get down there. So... Supercharge and the NI on. And we're actually not able to move much, but still... What can I do for you? It'll get better once we get the core 400. We see the last mech from reinforcements, unless we got support lances going around, which could be an option, so we have to be wary of that. Yes, Commander. So, I just move to a side with you. It's not important that you're up front. Here we go. We want some protection on our punch wood. The archer just gets going. Although this probably doesn't allow us to get down, so we might have to backtrace with the 5S. You're good by coming to the reach. We're mostly long range here. And with you, just jump. Here we go. Let's see what we have back there. It's all the way to the back, but it looks like another catapult. Yep. So it's twin catapults, probably. I am the wind. And yeah, we're going to be quite bunched up here, but still. Don't want the hammy to move first. Ready for orders. 
Her face doesn't more okay on moving. Affirmative. We get to see Catapult 22, a Kraken, a Conquistador. An Owens, actually, was what we were seeing in the back. And we're actually missing a bit of info on what we have on the table. Still, we get going. We have a bit of flare, so we're going to use it. We have maybe even standard range on something. So, not you. You might be a good target to get going. Well, we just flare the Kraken. The catapult also got some in the way, so that's good. We just move up with the Ifrit. And we start seeing things we don't see. Although this probably is someone in the back with the reinforcements. How might I help? So you still can't get no shot. We're waiting for the Kraken and the Catapult to move. You're in no range neither, so we wait. Archado can get a shot to their catapult. That's something. So we start going. Let's see the range. We're probably out of range here. We oh, yeah. are. So it just a bit of Artemis your way. waiting with you. So let's see Owens moves up. Waiting on you, Commander. The Morata. Yeah. We want to get going. So that's uh, 44. Oh well, <laughs> we hit the base in the back. So let's see what the catapult does. That was the Conquistador trying to go for the Ifrit. This is actually the fun one. Catapult moves back and tries to shoot the Marauder. And Kraken should be the next one to move. Good to go. We bring some mortars. Moving fast. So we're good to start heating up. The Black here Knight here. We're actually seeing them in the back. We've got a long ball, which we'll have to be a bit wary about. And the other is an Omni Centurion, which frankly doesn't bother us too much. We're probably dealing with it in no time. So, a bit more hit on the Black Knight because we love to send. Inferno. And we got quite some to use, so that much we're doing. That's quite a lot. And yeah, he's got the head cap active, but what we want to do here is just mess up with its heat. Gooch, so let's engage the supercharger. Yeah, suspected we can't get down there. We might be able to 
by going here. So that's how we go. And Legion actually has a shot to the Black Knight, so we take it. That's a bit of damage his way. We got very fast moving mechs on the reinforcements. The longbow. The longbow is one I'm not used to see, so. Okay, that's a short range one, so not that worried about him. We're probably not in range yet without the boost. With the boost, it might be a different story, so we engage the boost. I think that's the nearest we can go. Not good enough. So we open up a bit. We actually see some stealth mech here. That's a raptor. So we might want to sensor lock the raptor. I've got sensor lock. Should help with hitchensis. And we just pepper the raptor. Not going to help much, but bombs actually went to the back. Reporting multiple weapons with no ammo. Still. Yes, Commander. So trying to see line aside. That's no good. That's a bit better. So, we're just moving into the forest with the Hephaestus and shooting the Conquistador because we have nothing better to do. That's some hyper assault hits. Let's see what the risk the Owens does. Moves back. He sensor locked the Ifrit though. Which might be an issue. And we keep going with the King Crab. We might actually get to punch something today with him. So, not guided. Actually, a bit of flare will help us better here. Guessing this is mostly the ear medium. No, we're actually in range. So there we go. We got a head hit. Commander. And that's the archer time. Onward. So Artemis. I thought our, our chances on the Raptor would have been a bit better, so instead of going for the Raptor, we keep going on the Conquistador. That's one nasty mech we can deal with, so... Yeah, that's a bit of an email, but frankly... Oh, we just noticed them now. Avatar just moves here and keeps going on the Conquistador. This is about just getting him into heat travel. So just hide here. Waiting on you, Commander. 
piatto falso so. there we go we're probably destroying him in the way but we only got two picks here so there's no use in just playing So, enhanced imaging on. And that's actually scary. Although I guess there's little in the sense of strays we can do to ourselves here. So we get going. Not Inferno, but guided here. Well, actually, we top acid. When go means. Let's see what we can do on the Raptor. Yeah, hitchenses are not good, still. That's a bit of acid on him. Cut four moves. It goes for the Vulture, but it's mostly LRMs. So, we're not too worried about him. And the Kraken should be last. He actually went for the Ifrit with very good results. I'm, taking internal damage. I'm guessing Let's this go. was a rotor hit. No, actually a side hit. So, very impressive. Yeah, I know, supercharges on the brink of exploding, but we actually want to deal with the Raptor, and quickly. Doesn't help with the Hitchens, still more acid, and the Hami has another shot on the Raptor, so... Okay, we only hit one of them. Actually, can get down from the ridge. I'm trying to see if I get some evasion here, but it's actually complicated. Okay, we get one evasion here, so we'll just move like this. We got some Artemis, and we must protect ourselves. So we protect the weak side, we keep shooting the raptor, and let's see what it does. It probably wants to go for the Ifrit. Do we see the fourth mech? Nope, we don't. Raptor just moves. Supercharger off. Copy that, Commander. And we just send some more flare back there. It's going to help with Hitchensis, so why not? That's the Centurion going for the Ifrit. The Archer. Shoots the catapult because we have to eventually deal with it. So. And I'm guessing it will be complicated to get a line aside to the Raptor now. Well, the ERP has a very good Hitchens. So I guess it's just a shoot move here. We're just moving and sending some guided to that 
that's very good damage back there. He's unsteady. Okay, we actually see something with quite some alpha abilities. That was a vulture. So, yeah, we eventually have to deal with it. But first things first, we got a catapult on steady. He's open. That's something. At you, Commander. And we bring the radar up. Let's hope close range is better. It is. So, control burst. Just to avoid a bit of recoil here. And that's a torso down. Does a catapult out of the game. Which is a very good outcome. We keep going with you. We're not in range for the vulture. Which is our most important concern now, which is set some acid and some guided on the Kraken, because we also have to deal with him, so yeah, that's bad. But the good part is the Kraken let himself to be targetable now, so yeah. let's go for it. Got a Kraken here, so we're going to go for him. Yeah, <laughs> exactly my thoughts. Gotta love that, boys. So, a bit more damage in you. That's good. An LRM explosion means we no longer have a Kraken on the table. And we can even get line of sight to the raven, so why not? Doesn't help with the vision. I know, it's bad, but still... Commander? We have to deal with him somehow, so... Let's see if supercharging helps. Well, brings us closer, which is what we want. So, a bit of guided. We got him open on the leg, which I guess is something. And we got a shot from here. Not a very good one, but a shot. That's another hit on the leg, the ear peep. Push a bit back. Because the hyper assault might lag him. Guessing we also hit one peep. Because it was actually one arm and one leg which got down here. So, we get going. We got a very good hit on the longbow. That's center. <laughs> okay, a bit of splash on the Marauder. We can take that one. Let's see what the Owens does. Just went through the mines. No. Oh well, a bit of splash on the archer, but we can deal with that. And it actually brings him closer. So that's something. That's going to be standard. Okay, sorry. We just go for center here. 
there's no point in going for anything else. So that's jamming off the table. That would. Okay. That looked like indirect damage. Maybe it wasn't. Still. We get going. Morada. Keeps the railgun quiet because there's no reason to keep breaking up. So that's some damage there. We got vision on the Owens. Not very good Hitchensis, but vision nonetheless. It's a light, so it shouldn't take much. We've run out of acid, which is probably not something we want, but... And we just keep closing up here, because we gotta get in range again. Archer can actually shoot some things. At this point, it's clear we don't have flyers around, so... Got a point .9 and a point .9, so no use in shooting anything here. Hami can get vision from here, which might actually be interesting. But that's very bad hitchances all around, so... I guess just move sideways. And try and shoot the Centurion because if we hit the Hyper Laser, that's something. King Crab. Can hide, at least. So we send some flare. Yeah, I'd much rather hit the longbow here. So let's see what they do. They're going for the Marauder, which is good news. Avatar wants to get closer. And that's very bad hitchances all around. But we can set a bit of Inferno in the Vulture way. That just allows us to mess with its hit gauge at least. And he's going to keep alphaing, so... Let's see the Owens. The Takaro can be nasty, but at this point of the game we're not running small mechs. So we can deal with it. Okay. So, hello, mister. Oh, we missed. Still, we had to try. We just move out of sight. Okay. It only showed little stuff there. Caria keeps going. That's 8.5, and we actually. I guess we're just burning this hill. Because a vulture is always bad news. So just deal with them this way. That's a good hitchin, if you ask me. And Inferno is probably spreading. To the side, we 
which is good. You don't want to present yourself as target, so we just move here. We just shoot a bit of flare. Probably this turn we're getting rid of the longbow. Centurion keeps shooting. Well, just the course, because it's cold. So, we just keep going. One ear pip connected, which is nice. And we just push here. We can get into the forest, which always is good news. So, are we able to deal with the Owens here? Probably. That thing is nasty, so... That's him gone. I hope we can tell this man. I live to serve. And as we've already established, Primitive. there's not much point in being subtle here. We just have two peaks, so waiting for orders. So yeah. Running doesn't help much, so we just get Roger. into the road with the Hephaestus. And we just go hyper laser on the vulture. That's just the hyper laser in range. Let's see it from here. We actually get the heavy peep Roger. as well. So why not? That's a hyper laser. Connecting. And... As bad Hitchens as this is... Well, we've got the Vulture. So we Pitchlons this. Because I'm guessing, yeah. We don't hit the, the railgun, but it was to be expected. So let's see what the longbow does. We've got some LMS going for us if he goes for the ones in front. Well, the vulture went for the Morada and he should overheat now. It is quite welcome. So we just keep going there. A bit more heat because you haven't had enough, my friend. That should really start getting you freaked out. So we just go for the longbow because it brings ammo. We might get it to explode. Scored a critical hit. I hear you. We got a vulture. With some headshotting capabilities, I'm guessing it's not going to be pretty, but right, still. What can I do for you? The avatar just gets down. Uh -huh. And shoot some to the longbow. And looks like the punch bot won't be able to do much neither. If I still moves in. And we just keep shooting. Not that we're confident of going for the head, but still, it's a knockdown. Awaiting order. 
I mean, is another story, but this is probably a bit too much. Let's see the chance though, it's an 8%, still. I know, We're most likely hitting center and torsos, but as we already said, this one isn't about being subtle. So, we're just shooting high explosive here, in the hopes we got the leg, but we didn't. So, King Crab, another time, hasn't been able to get in range for what we want to do. Which highlights the need for... For a 400 engine, if you ask me. Yeah, Centurion keeps going at the Marauder, but it's very little damage. He's managed to get him. And we're actually quite probably ignoring him until we get the longbow down. So that's a bit of of damage here. Armor. It's okay though. We got vision on him. So yeah. deal with this, Mr. Yeah, I thought so. So yeah. Uh, there's somewhere where we have line of sight. I'm guessing you won't enjoy that much. Well, a bit more acid. Okay, that's just... Bit of acid, bit of guided. Next turn, we're just getting on you. Archer just moves. And sends 60 Apollos his way, because he can. And that's the Centurion down, mission down. So let's see what we have here for a bit of value. Not confident that we're getting an enhanced image, mm, imaging from this one. Would be a nice surprise, though. So, some money, which is nice to see actually, some good experience actually, and yeah, we mostly wrecked everything, but that was, quite frankly, not sure <laughs> what we could have done, we got an AMS Mark II, but that's not really what we want to use here, so, boost the C3, but we already got something very similar. Well, I guess Gunnery B and six proto hit things are also a very good thing to have. We already got seven, but I'm actually thinking we might want to use them. So, yeah, I guess that's it. Unless we got two tactic support B, because I'm actually thinking of swapping the gunnery for tactics on the headshotters. Should help with headshots. So, yeah, not seeing. Well, we got Predator, but we got some laying around, so that's no biggie. The boosted C3 could be something, but it's three tones. So, I guess that's it. We could take the snap nose, but it's... We have one already. So, yeah, I guess we're going with a uh, Gunnery B.
we have none and six protos because might help us later we get two parts of a longbow two parts of a raptor which is actually good because it means we can bring it up four basic cockpits which we sell jumpies we sell omni hand we keep and the rest we keep because as little as that is that it's some stuff we can use if we ever need it I'm guessing we'll have some three days repairs to go through which is good we've got some 15 days to to spend here I'd much rather have no damage but I'm just saying we haven't received that much damage well the Archer 5 might be out for a while but it's also good because we might take the time to actually rework it a bit so let's see what we have here it's five days mostly okay with it because let's see yeah i guess we can go for a bit of rebuilding time especially on one mech we let up let at home which is the conquistador so let's see it as much as i love you we got this which fits that's some 20 more which is actually interesting to see and we have incendiary take this one out so just need a bit of acid if we have it but we don't but we're bringing Apollo so I guess instead of the improved go with Apollo so that's something and we even have, yeah, we're having a bit of a travel hit-wise, but we can work with it. That should improve it a bit. So, yeah, we do have... If this helps, well, it helps in the way that we can put three things inside, but we don't have the slots, so not sure if it's actually good. What we can do though is get you out and actually get. Protos, it should make you a bit better, good ways. And actually, it takes it heavy. Yeah, I know, I know about the. I guess we're <laughs> just making a small cut into. I stop making noise here because yeah it's bothering you and it's bothering me so. so that's a way of doing it my guess is we're running out of MRM mammo here but still it doesn't hurt to try Bit of tactics here will be good for Artemis. That just one day repairs. So. I guess 
the next thing is going into the 5S and swapping the ammo. Because there's actually no one else. Yeah, you're good at these things. Well, we could do something here. I'm guessing we don't have the slots. The smalls are actually of no use here. So I guess now that we have an ear, more ear mediums, we just use them. That's good hit ways. So that's how we go here. A bit of gunnery, I guess. Because we have it, so we use it. And I actually want to try the tactics things here. if it improves our headshot capabilities. Let's see what else we got though. Yeah, that's only arm accuracy. So it's not really that interesting for you. So we'll just go like this. King Crab? No, he didn't. So, we're actually working on this thing now. Players are AM is out. Because we need some space here. We actually might run out of space, but we have to try. So, the Red Knot in. And actually, I guess it's time for IATMs. So, let's find them. Let's find the ammo. Explosive and a bit of Inferno, which isn't a bad thing to have. We might have to take out its three slots, so yeah, we're probably having to get rid of everything in here. And that's where the 400 will come in handy later on. I know Upper Spacked only works on the charges, but still... So... Not much we can do here. On our fronts. Yes, swapping the medium heavy for light peepees, I think. It also shoots when we want to, so why not? Got space. It's actually scary to bring. But a bit of flare is good. And we're actually 10 tons. <laughs> so 
so I guess we can keep the stability gyro for the moment. We can keep the laser rhythms. And we just go five tons on those tonics here. Let's see what happens for a second. Come on. Sometimes. So, maybe like this. That's a bit better and still doable. I guess that's one way of doing things until we get the core 400. Yeah, we lose damage. But I think overall... It's good. So... we got the clan archer. We might want to... No, this one's actually good with clan LRMs. We need some clan LRM goodness in our life. And you, my friend, as much as we would like to use you, you're just not, not cutting it. So. Yes, an air peep is better than this one, but it just brings more hit problems, and we don't want hit problems. So yeah, this thing actually has outlived its use. We're just not freeing any tonnage if we swap ferro and endo for the clan variants. Uh, And we got plenty spare max. This Orion simply, well, could get better if we get uh, an Excel engine in there, but not willing to spend the money. So we get some money back from it. We get the parts back. Yeah, we still got 11 max. So that's three more than we need on every drop. Um, we also had something. Okay, it was actually a raptor. So, a raptor will bring up. And I guess between chapters, I'm just going to scrap a bit of things because we got our storage full. So Okay, sorry. We get into the neck bay because we just brought up a raptor. Not that we're going to use it. Just to see. Well, we just get an exit from this one. So that's all we need. Mind, this is not a bad mech to work with. It's got almost everything we need from the get-go, but even if we do it like this, it's got Artemis Animal already being brought in, so... We could do something crazy with this thing, but what's the point? We're never bringing it. So, and yeah, it's got improved cooling, anything you want from it, but it's 400,000 just to repair it. So I guess we just keep the boat and the signature damper in our storage. 
can get 125,000 back. So, we've got quite some papers to go through, but that's the time, that's the time to do them, if you ask me. So, just probably going to be some five days, probably, until we're able to drop back in, perhaps a bit more. But that's a thing for next chapter, because they just keep pushing, punching and punching, so we just call it quits here. Sorry about the noise, hope you enjoyed it, see you next time.